Welcome back everyone. We're picking up from where we left off in the previous video. Today we're diving into the concept of sexual harassment, a term often associated with unwanted advances from unattractive men. This isn't merely about subjective attraction, but a societal shift in understanding consent and respect. The introduction of the harassment law sparked a campaign to educate young women about their new entitlements an environment free from sexual advances that they didn't welcome. Colleges, among other institutions, instituted harassment committees, encouraging victims to come forward. The impact was immediate and far-reaching with many women availing themselves of the new dispensation. Young men, on the other hand, found themselves walking on eggshells, fearing police involvement for what was once considered innocent behavior. The introduction of this law changed the dynamics of male-female interaction, leading to what some might call female bullying. The reaction to this law has brought about a contrast to traditional male chivalry. Chivalry, a time-honored code of conduct, has instructed men, particularly within Western civilization, to refrain from using force against women. This isn't an absolute rule, but many men abstain from retaliating against a woman unless faced with a grave threat. This code is far removed from the modern call for gender equality. It's based on a man's moral responsibility not to exploit his physical strength against women, not because he's obliged to, but because it's the honorable thing to do. But let's look at the concept of noblesse oblige. It's a principle suggesting that with privilege comes responsibility. Yet it doesn't involve a corresponding entitlement for women. It's a delicate balance that can be easily tipped. The code can be exploited, especially when the boundaries are blurred. This code, while noble, leaves room for exploitation, especially when the rights and obligations of each gender are not clearly defined. But what happens when the line between rights and obligations becomes blurred? In the current climate, men find themselves in precarious situations often denied due process and facing severe repercussions for allegations of harassment. The legal and societal scales tip heavily, threatening their professional lives and personal reputations. This imbalance could potentially trigger a backlash. The time-honored tradition of men's reluctance to use force against women, rooted not in a recognition of women's rights, but in acknowledgement of their vulnerability, may be eroding. As men navigate these uncertain waters, the survival of this tradition becomes uncertain. The consequences of this shift could be far-reaching and damaging for both genders. It's a stark reminder. With rights come responsibilities. It's not about creating an environment of fear, but fostering mutual respect and understanding. As we move forward, it becomes crucial for both genders to understand and respect each other's rights and boundaries.